This tutorial will cover how to make a new recording for a one-time or impromptu event. For recurring events such as class sessions, the recorder is instead usually used in scheduled mode. In scheduled mode, the recording will start and stop automatically at pre-specified times. For some events, it may be easier to operate the recorder in a non-scheduled mode, which is what this tutorial will cover. Note that we recommend you operate the recorder from inside the room where the event is being held. You can do this by bringing a laptop with wireless network capability. You will need to connect to the network named M Wireless. Logging in through a guest network is not sufficient. Once you have your laptop on the network, connect to the management interface of the lecture capture system using the URL provided. You will be asked to log in using your unique name and password. Then, a list of sites you have access to will be displayed on the left side of the page. Remember, a site is essentially a container that holds related lectures. So now, locate the site that will receive the new recording. Click the record link for that site. If your site is permitted to recording in more than one room, you will then be asked to choose which room to record in. You will now see some basic instructions on using the lecture recorder. This is a good opportunity to stop and make sure you are connecting to the correct room. Also, only use the recorder on your events. To continue and connect to the room recorder, click the connect link. You will now see the recording interface. On the upper left is a preview of the video camera, and on the right is a preview of the content being shown on the projector. Below are the controls you will use to start and stop the recording and move the camera. These arrows control the movement of the camera through two speeds, slow and fast. These buttons control zooming in and out. These buttons control the camera presets. Camera positions can be saved and recalled during the recording, and your presets are remembered between recording sessions to the same site. To save a preset, click the Save button followed by any yellow preset button. To recall a preset, just click the yellow preset button. Finally, to start a recording, just press the Start button. You should see a record counter updating every five seconds or so. Remember to press the Stop button when your event is finished. The status should now indicate the recording is off. Now that a recording is finished, click the Return link to return to the management page. Your new recording should appear under your site. It is initially set to Not Viewable. This gives you a chance to edit and review the recording before posting it to your students. Note that whenever a new lecture is added, a certain amount of processing is required before the lecture is available for editing. Usually the lecture will be available for editing within 30 minutes or so. For instructions on how to prepare this recording for viewing, please see our other instructions and video tutorials on the website. That pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, please contact the Kane hotline by phone or email. Thanks.